Hey friends, in today's review video, we are going to be taking a closer look at the Ashley Shelley planner. We'll explore its features, design, and functionality to determine if this is the right planner for you. Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first video that you are watching, my name is Saray, and I love to share content that can help inspire you to plan, budget, organize, and set goals for the life that you want. So let's get started. Ashley Shelley is a graphic and product designer based out of Pensacola, Florida, and she's had a passion for all things art and creativity. She's a one woman planner company and based on my impression, she works incredibly hard to deliver great service and products to her customers. I had seen her planner in the community for years, but I had never experienced it with my own two hands. Ashley sent me this planner to review with you, but if you have been around for a while, you know I will always share my honest opinion no matter what. I'm so grateful that she did because, spoiler alert, I'm impressed. I absolutely love the simplicity and pops of color in this design, which matched the interior color of the planner. The silver metallic also adds a nice elevated touch, which is complemented by the wire O coiling. If you like portability, the size is great. It's about the size of an A5 and the cover is a hard glossy material that I feel would withstand the daily use and beating that an on the go planner would get by being thrown in a bag or left in the car and those kinds of things. The inside includes a handy cover in this beautiful aqua color, along with a functional set of stickers and a today bookmark ruler. Let's go through the structure and layout of this planner. Starting with a 2024 inspiration board for you to include any notes, quotes, photos of inspiration to visualize the new year. The importance contact page. I personally don't use contact pages in any planner, but I know of others that do. One of my favorite things about this contact page is that you can include any method of contact, not just addresses or emails. You can get a lot more freedom with this setup if you're someone that does use this resource. Favorite meal ideas is a great reference for when you're feeling stuck during the week. The 2024 planner overview pages. This gives you 12 functional boxes to include anything you like from goals to bucket list annual budgeting, and so much more. The yearly overview gives you a little future planning and a high level look for the upcoming years. The 2024 holidays is also another great reference to be able to plan ahead. Now we'll get into the main guts. The monthly view has two great features that make it very functional in my opinion. First is the two monthly views for the preceding and upcoming months, which is a great reference. Second are the line pages in this view. I personally love the guidance that line monthly boxes provide. Right after the monthly view, you'll have two pages to create a vision board for each month. If you have always been interested in journaling, bullet journaling, and goal setting, but you have been intimidated with creating those types of layouts, this gives you some structure and makes it less intimidating with this guided approach. The next two are line notes pages to use however you need. Maybe you need a monthly brain dump of sorts, monthly tracking, meal planning, all those things. At the top of every page, you have a section to include your monthly word. This is a great reminder since I'm not sure how many of us think of an annual or monthly word on a regular basis, especially if this is a new practice for you. It has a Monday start and three structured boxes to make it into a schedule and to do's for the day. Here are some examples on how they can be used. My least favorite part of this layout, and this will come as no surprise to many of you, and that is that Saturday and Sunday here do share a column. But I do understand that spacing is definitely a challenge. I do also like the reminder on Sunday to check in with your creative spread to keep it top of mind for you and help you plan the rest of the weeks. Here's a brief flip through of some of the remaining months and weekly pages.
Thank you so much for joining me for another review video. Please let me know if you have any questions on anything I may not have covered. And as always friends, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.